Hey guys, it's Donna, and today I have a Stitch Fix box for January and my Mighty Fix. So I'm actually going to start with Mighty Fix, so we'll set that over to the side. Um, Mighty Fix is an amazing, affordable subscription, so if you like something in your mailbox every month, this is an awesome choice. Plus, it helps with sustainable living. So Mighty Fix is all about environmentally friendly products and converting your current products into something that is more sustainable. Um, I really love their dryer balls. I got those last month, which actually was my second time getting them. Also other really neat products that they provide. They have container covers, they have dishcloths, they have pockets that you can put your snacks in and reuse them. All kinds of different things. Um, it's normally $15 a month. I do have a link below that will give you your first month for only $3. If you don't like it, you can cancel it after that. If you love it, $15. It's not really a lot of money out of your pocket for sustainable living. Um, plus, every month you have a choice if you want to pick your item. That's what I like to do because I want to make sure that the products are useful in my life. Or you can be surprised. So if you want them to just send you something that they like, you can do that as well. You can also add on. So if there's other products on the website, they will ship them in your box so that you don't have to pay extra for the shipping. So I think I want to dive in. I don't remember what I picked. I always pick my products, but I feel like I picked some sort of cleaning product. Okay, I don't remember. So let's dig in together and we will see here what I picked. So even all the packing items are also recyclable. Uh, here it is. Ooh, this is one of my biggest boxes that I've gotten. That's why I'm thinking maybe it's a cleaning item. Um, and it's even wrapped in, no plastic, um, it is wrapped in recyclable cardboard, it looks like. All right, let's see here. Fancy, fancy. I wonder if it's glass. It is. What did we get? We got Lemon Cello Hand and Body Wash. Oh, that's cool. Smells like Litsy Lemongrass Bergamot. Uh, feels like that time you went to Italy and then told everyone you <laughs> went to Italy. That's cool. There's eight ounces in here. Um, soap distillery, small batches, no hangovers. Handmade, non-drying, original formulation, free SLS and full fate free. So it's also a nice reusable um, bottle that you can use over and over again. So that is very cool. Thank you so much, Mighty Fix. Don't forget, if you want to try them out, you can get your first month for only $3. All right, let me grab my Stitch Fix box. All right, Stitch Fix is here. This is one of my favorite services um, that I do for styling. Um, Stitch Fix is an in-home styling service. A stylist is selected for you to hand pick five items. They do give you a preview ahead of time to kind of see maybe these are some of the items you want selected. You can pick up to five of those items or you can reject them all and the stylist will restyle your box. I really like that feature. So there's a little bit of a surprise element if you don't select all five pieces but I kind of like to pick as much as I can because <laughs> then you know it's some things that you're going to like. Um, this was a shirt that I kept out of my last box. They've been sending me lots of really cool North Face items, um, which is really up my alley. 90% of the time, I am a casual person and this is what I like to wear, but I do work, so I also like to have some work clothes as well. And of course, I like pretty things to wear in my videos for you guys. Um, normally, it's a $20 styling fee, but that does get applied to anything you purchase in the box. I do have a link below that will give you $25 off of your first box that covers the styling fee and $25 towards something in your box. Sometimes they do give me a higher discount when I check out, so sometimes it's $50. I've even in the past gotten up to $100. Haven't gotten that in a while, but who knows, I'll say that and I'll get it. So make sure you check out my channel. I do try to post that on the community post or over on my Instagram page. I will also post it there as well. So let's go ahead and dig in. I feel like I am babbling a lot today. So bear with me. Um, we are midweek here when I'm filming this. So my brain is just shutting down. All right, let's see. Again, I don't remember. I think it's some casual clothing in here, if I remember correctly. All right, right on top, here's our envelope. So they have a prepaid label on here. You just stick everything back in here that you don't want to purchase. Um, and then it's really super simple. Just stick it in the mail. All right, we also have an envelope that gives us a styling card and our invoice. We leave the invoice for last because you guys know I don't want that to sway my opinion. <laughs> The stylist does give you options on how to style things, which I always need. But let's see um, if it's Bethany. It is. I've had Bethany for quite a while now. Hi, Bethany. Hi, Donna. Happy fixed day and happy holidays. Bethany here. I hope you and your family had a wonderful holiday. The week between Christmas and New Year's is such a blur. I swear it's just the weird period of time where the kids destroy my house daily and I don't know what day it is. Amen to that. <laughs> Um, ha ha. Anyways, take a break from all the craziness. Enjoy your fix. How cute is that Skechers go dry, swift, long sleeve top? 
I do remember that and I'm excited about it. It's a lightweight fabric with breathable. So this will be great transition into the spring. Um, listen to me, transition into spring. Ha ha. It's so crazy. It's not even New Year's Day yet. Well, it is for me. And I'm talking spring. That's the way fashion and clothing go. By the time one season is happening, the next lineup is ready to go. Ha ha. Anyways, happy, happy New Year, Exo Bethany. I feel like I've grown such a great relationship with Bethany that we're like friends. This is like my pen pal. She like writes me these cute little notes and I just think that's really cool and way more personal um, than some services that are out there. So let's see how Bethany did with styling me this month. Oh, I like the colors. Oh, you know what? I think I remember what this is, but I'll let you, it be a surprise. Um, This might be the Skecher top she was talking about. We've got some green stripes and then maybe two pairs of pants that are hidden in there. So let's open our burrito and see what's in store. So yes, so right on top is the Skecher top and it's purple, I love it. And I do love this material. I like to exercise in this type of material too when it's transitioning from that winter cold chills in the morning to the springtime. Um, I don't exercise much outside during the winter time. My skin is not made for that. But when it does get warm enough, I still need some long sleeves sometimes. So this is the material I like. And my Go Dry Swift um, will help with that sweat wicking. Um, so this one is an extra large, which I probably need because it does fit snug and I don't like my exercise tops to be really snug. This is 41 Hawthorne and it is a cute vest and it's purple. <laughs> so that's why I decided to keep, this was in my preview, decided to keep this. Um, I thought it was super cute. Um, this is a size medium. I love that quilted look. It's got some stretch on the side material here. We've got some pockets. We've got some cute button accents, button accents on the back. So I think that's gonna be really adorable. All right, this next top is a hoodie. This one is Market and Spruce and it is a green striped hoodie. Um, I didn't know how to feel about this in my preview, but I did select it um, because I thought maybe I would like it. It is my style of clothing. It looks like it has a longer length there to wear with leggings, kangaroo pocket that I love, and the hood looks really comfy. This is a cute design element on the back. It has a vertical stripe with the horizontal stripes, so I like that. So, that's cute. Okay. And then two pairs of pants. We have some exercise pants here, it looks like, by MPG size extra large, which is normally my size for them. Um, I love MPG. I have some spiker shorts. I wear all summer long in them, um, but they do have pockets on the side, both sides. Yay, I love that. Um, and then this has, let's see here, they have like moisture wicking, wicking um, designs to them. So again, I sweat a lot, sorry to get personal, um, but it wicks that sweat away. And then we have a pair of do, do, do. What brand is this one? Tribal. That's what I thought. Um, 14 size. Um, I believe I had black ones in another box and I really liked them, um, but hopefully if they fit properly because I'm trying to remember if the other ones had fit properly and decided maybe not to keep them. But this is in a khaki color and they do have that rolled bottom and they look like straight legs. So it all boils down to the fit, but I do know these are really affordable um, brand pants. So Let's go ahead and try on. That's the best part, I think. And then we'll get together at the end and talk about all the pieces. So hang tight. All right, so I couldn't resist trying on the MPG pants and the Skecher top. Now, the Skecher top, I probably could use a large in. This is an extra large. And I think she did size up because of past tops that I've had with Skechers were too snug. So I'm hoping I can exchange it because if I can, I love this top. It has the thumb holes, which who doesn't love the thumb holes? I love that ashy tone of the purple. I love the material. Got a little bit of a stitch design here at the collar. I think the length is really nice. It does have the reflective sketcher right there in the arm. I do like that. So overall, I love it, but I feel like it's a little too baggy, but I am exercising in it. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you stick with it? Even if it's a little baggy, it's tempting. All right, the pants, they're perfect. I mean, they hit at the right spot for me when I'm exercising. I like for this to all be held in. So I do like the high waist. It does, I mentioned, it has the two pockets. Yeah, it has two pockets here, which are just big enough. I don't know if it would hold my phone because it only goes to here. So it's kind of a short pocket, but it's great for like your AirPods or your, hair, uh, your headphones or something like that. Um, whatever you use, I think it would be great for that. So, or your mace, I do carry mace when I go walking um, to protect myself. So, or your key for your house, a couple dollars, that kind of thing. Um, so they fit really nice. They hit right at my ankle, so that's kind of perfect. So I think these are really cute. 
has some cute stitches across the back, so it has a little more of a slimming effect across there. So I think it's really cute. Should we try on the vest with this? Hang on. I feel like the colors are too similar, so maybe I shouldn't be trying these on together, um, but I think it's really cute. Only problem is it's not wide enough on my hips, so I can't zip it up without worrying about the zippers pulling. So I'd have to size up, unfortunately, with the vest. It's really cute though, same colors. It does have zip pockets on the side, which is really nice. Um, I do love that. I don't know if I need it in my life enough to upgrade. It's very lightweight. It's more of a style element, I think, than a warmth element. Um, so I, I don't know. As much as I love the look of it, don't know if I need it in my wardrobe enough to exchange the size, um, but I think it's really cute. I love the little buttons here at the collar. I think the length is really nice. And I love those little snap details here in the back. They actually are functional snaps, <laughs> so if you wanted to unsnap them, you could, um, but it's kind of a bummer that it won't, you know, and then I'm worried it's going to be too big here at the top if I do upgrade because it fits really nicely at the top just this hip area is too tight. So it's kind of a bummer. Let's try the last two pieces on. Okay, I don't know if I would normally pair these together. I think the top would look cuter probably with jeans than with the khaki pants, um, but it's cute. I, I don't know if I love it enough to keep it. Um, I do like the kangaroo pouches, you guys know that, and we've got the hood. I don't know, <laughs> can we have too many of those in our closet? Um, I do like the dark accent of the pull strings. I think that's really cute. I like the striped design. Just don't know if I have to have it in my wardrobe. That's what it's kind of boiling down to, I guess. Um, whether I feel like it's unique enough to keep. You guys know I love unique pieces, but what do you guys think? I don't know if it's really a wow item. I do like the length. I mentioned earlier you could wear it maybe with those skinny jeans or the leggings, um, but just not sure. Okay, so the pants. Um, I do like the fit. They're very nice. They fit really great here across the top. They're elastic. I guess you guys assumed that. Um, they don't have any pockets though. The ones in the back are very shallow. They are real, but they're very shallow. Um, so I don't know if I love that. Um, and they hit in a good spot on my ankle, which is great. Um, but I just feel like maybe they're hanging too low. And I think that was the problem with the last ones. If I remember, they were black. Um, same type of style. So I don't know if I'm crazy about that. But they look fine. They're a nice pair of khaki pants. I guess I'll give you the full view. Here's the slit pockets. So again, I don't know if I have to have these in my wardrobe. I do have a pair of khaki pants. I don't normally wear khaki pants. I usually wear darker pants because I feel like they're slimmer um, looking than lighter colored pants. What do you guys think? Do you prefer dark pants or light pants? Let me know in the comments. And let's get together real quick and look at these prices. So what did you guys think? Bethany always does a great job with keeping the prices low. So I do truly appreciate that because that's my, more my style. I think you can look nice and still be on a budget. Don't want to forget as well to remind you about the Mighty Nest Mighty Fix that you can get monthly for $15. And your first month is only $3 if you use the link below. It is time to switch to a more environmentally friendly, sustainable life. If you ask me, now is the time. <laughs> All right. So let's look at these prices. I went ahead and kept this top on here. Um, this one is the Market and Spruce Perine Pocket Hooded Knit Top. It always cuts it off here, so I always guess. <laughs> this is a size medium, um, and it's $58. I don't think I love it enough for $58, so I'll probably be passing. All right, the pants. These are by Tribal. Fia High Rise Cuffed Straight Trouser in Tan, size 14. And these are also $58. Kind of, again, I don't think I love them enough or the fit to keep them at that price. Um, I did really like the MPG pants. These are MPG Sport Vital High Waisted Side Pocket in Navy, extra large. These are $48. I don't know. Would you pay $48 for the leggings? Let me know. All right, we have the Skecher top. I'm really hoping maybe this is available. Um, and you know, that's interesting. Okay, so this is Skecher Go Dry Swift Long Sleeve Top in Light Purple. My invoice says size medium. I think they grabbed the wrong one, Bethany. I think they put the wrong one in here, but I think a large would be great. So I'm hoping I can exchange the size, um, but this is only $39. So that I think is definitely worth it. I will get a lot of wear on this here in the springtime. And then the quilted one is the Market and Spruce Dolce Quilted Vest in light purple size medium. And this one is $68. I think they saw the invoice and they see the pants above it were extra large and they accidentally gave me the extra large. Oh, that's a bummer because I would like to see what the medium looked like. But 
if you keep everything, it is a 25% off discount. So the total box was $271. 25% off would be $67.75, bringing the total for the box to $203.25. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite piece? What should I keep? Do you guys agree if I can size down to keep that sketcher top? Let me know in the comments below. That is all I've got for you guys today. Please take a second to like the video and always subscribe and click the bell so you see all the style videos when they come out. Till next time guys, happy styling.